How's it going guys? I'm going to be showing you how to easily and automatically rig and animate your 3D models and then we're going to be importing them into Godot. This is a really simple process that I would highly recommend doing if you're new to 3D game development as it skips the process of having to design your own models and rig them and animate them. There will also be a written version of this tutorial which will contain the GitHub repository. I'll leave a link in the description for that so feel free to check it out. And any assets or URLs can also be found there or directly inside of the description. I'm going to be using this asset of a cartoon woman which is just a basic free asset. You can use just about any low poly asset from this website or from open game art. The only thing that really matters is that it has one of these texture files and it also has an object file um, .obj or it has a blend file. This one does not have an object file but it does have a blend file so I'm going to show you how we can handle that. In this case we can just open it up in Blender and you don't actually have to be experienced in Blender we're just going to export it as that obj and I'm going to save this to my download so that it's really easy to grab when I need it. And now we're ready for the next step of this which is logging into Mixamo. If you don't already have a Mixamo account you will have to create one. It's totally free though. If you've never used this before you'll see I'm able to select various pre-made animations and it makes my character on the screen do them. This is essentially how we're going to be downloading animations and transferring them into Godot. There's also a plethora of characters that you could choose from. These are all free as well, but we want to be able to do this with our own characters. So we're going to select the upload character button and we're just going to drag and drop our character, which is going to be the OBJ file. Once that's uploaded, we can start our auto rigging process. It's pretty simple, but we just have to put a couple of elements onto our model. You might want to look at the actual picture of it, which does have the skin, so that you can reference that. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but try to be as close as you can. We should also be changing this here so that it says that it doesn't have fingers because our model does not have fingers. I forgot to do that, but I would recommend doing it if you're working with a voxel or PSX model like this. And everything seems to be working here. The first thing that we're going to want to do here is get a T-Pose animation. When we click download, just change it to 60 frames per second and make sure everything else looks the same as mine. It should by default. And then we can save that. I'm going to grab a couple of other things. I'm going to want a walk animation. Notice that I'm clicking in place here. It's really important that you click that for any option that has it. You can also adjust your character's arm length, which might be necessary depending on the kind of body you're working with. I should probably adjust mine here. I'm not going to, but it would probably look better if I do. You'll see that in a later development though, once the animations are all done. Also going to get a dancing animation, a running animation, which again needs to have that in place value, some kind of an idle animation, and lastly I'm going to get a jumping animation. Now this is just what I'm getting. Obviously you're probably going to want to use a different character, most likely going to want to get different animations, especially if you want to have any gunplay or melee action in your game. And Mixamo does support those kind of animations too, so please be sure to shop around. They have quite a bit of animations that you can pick from. Now we're going to go to another website, which is what we're going to be using to blend all of our animations together and then export them in a way that is Godot friendly. This can be downloaded as an application as well, and you can look at the GitHub repository if you want. I'm just going to be leaving a link to the online version though. So the first thing that we want to do is for upload file with character, we want to just upload that T-Pose animation. Then we can drag and drop our texture and it should ideally look like your character. We can go and upload all of the rest of our animations and they should just pop up here. Double check to make sure that they're all working here. It seems like all of mine are, so I should be good to export and move on. I am gonna export this as a GLTF. Once that's downloaded, we can hop into Godot. I have a project here that I started. It's pretty blank. It really just has a world scene in it. You can ignore this woman.tscn. That's a file that's not supposed to be here actually, and I'm going to delete it shortly. 
what we could do now is just drag and drop our GLTF file into our new project and you should be able to play all the animations and they should hopefully work. Assuming everything looks good and it's working, we can right click that and create a new inherited scene. I'm going to rename this to woman and I'm going to change this to a character body 3D and then I'm going to give it a collision shape. I'm just going to give it a simple capsule shape here and make sure it fits fairly well. Save that and then I can delete this other one that I wasn't supposed to have here in the first place. Go into my world scene. You'll see this is pretty basic. It really just has a camera, a world environment, a directional light, and a floor. I'm going to drag this in here, make it fit on the floor, and then I'm just going to take a minute to make this look a little bit more pretty so that we can clearly see that the animations are working in game. Now that our character is in here, we can go to our animation player and we're going to handle the auto playing, which is only going to be for the idle position. And we're also going to handle looping, which for us is going to be for idle, run, dance, and walk. We're never going to use that T-Pose animation again. That was really just for bringing the character model in. I'd also recommend you make sure that all the animations are playing again, or you know, at least check a couple and make sure it looks good. Then we can get into our GD script. We don't need any of this filler. I should have just done it without a template. We're going to drag in our animation player as a variable and then create our ready function. Inside of this, we can say await, get tree, create timer, and let's make a one second timer. And when that times out, we're going to change the animation. We're going to want to do this quite a few times. First thing I'm going to play is dancing. And then I'll play walking, then slow run, and then jump. And this should handle all of our animations. So if I run this, we should see all the animations play, and it's working really good. Obviously, they're not blending together really smoothly because we're not handling that, but that's fine. I'm going to make them a little bit longer to make sure they're playing right and looping. And it looks good. We have a fully rigged and animated character in Godot, and we didn't actually have to set it all up. We were just able to download a model from Itch. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. And if you ran into any problems, also let me know that, and I will do my best to help you out. Hope you have a great day.